Um, good evening. My name is Don Freund. I'm a composer. And uh, as a composer and a composition teacher, I tend to look at everything that goes on in life as a composition lesson. Um, but box music is a special kind of situation um, because it has this extraordinary density and vitality in facing what I think are the most critical issues that creative artists encounter. Uh, one of the astounding things about the music of J.S. Bach is that it can be viewed in so many different ways. Traditionalists and revolutionaries, fundamentalists, iconoclasts, all can find something in Bach's music that incontrovertibly supports their own point of view. So as a composer, I look at Bach a little differently, I'm sure. Um, and I've had a lot of experience as a pianist, too. Uh, I've spent a lot of my life memorizing these pieces and trying to interpret and perform them. So that's given me a, a kind of life-important insight into how music and art and creativity uh, work in our perception and the way that box music tends to be the evidence of that. Perception is the key word in my approach because even though Bach may have been writing for God, I'm convinced he did it with a craft that is brilliantly structured around how humans hear and process musical ideas. So I'm hoping to talk about things that you'll be able to hear and you'll be able to respond to orally and they'll make a strong, intelligent, and emotional um, kindling in the way you feel about the music. Um, and it's because I think human beings tend to hear a lot of things the same way. Psychoacoustically, we're kind of engineered to hear high and low and fast and slow and loud and soft and thick and thin in a lot of the same ways. And the way a composer handles this, whether it's Stockhausen or Bach, I think has to take into account what that the human perception can deal with in terms of information density, in terms of how all these parameters are uh, presented to you. More than anything, I want the listeners, and you, as I'm speaking to you tonight and in the lectures, um, to react to composition as an active, dynamic experience, full of critical choices. Uh, a work of art shouldn't be viewed as some marvel of perfection given us by the gods. Uh, I think if I ever heard an absolutely perfect piece, I'd be bored to tears. I don't think that's what composition is about. I don't think that's what our Western art music is about in any case. Um, but I think it's, what's interesting is to look at composition as a work, as a thinking, choosing, struggling, sweating, and occasionally exalting human being. Uh, people have said to me that um, they're surprised sometimes I talk about these pieces and I say, he does this and he does that as if Bach is actually there doing it. But when I'm looking at these pieces and playing them, I feel that Bach is actually there doing it. This is a person who's actually doing things, and that's what makes the music vibrant and exciting and, and meaningful to me. So that's the difference between looking at the Grand Canyon, I think, and listening to the B minor Mass. Um, I don't think absolute imperfection are what art is about. I think what's fascinating to me is the work of art's particularity its individuality, its beguiling and profound uniqueness. The problems the creator must have found in articulating these visions, as well as the solutions that he or she eventually came up with. Music becomes timeless only through being time full, which means every moment is clearly defined with a rich sense of an attitude, a relationship, and a meaningful presence. I think Bach's ideas are not exciting to me because they are right or because they're inevitable but because they are driven by a desire to awaken in the consciousness of the listener an alertness to the overwhelming richness of our lives. Ideas don't just come from out of nowhere. And I can boast, you know, a composer is someone who's basically thinking all the time about what he or she can do with the, uh, with the sound world that they're dealing with. Um, even a divinely gifted composer like Bach had to work to make his ideas rise above the standard business as usual. These 48 pieces present a dizzying array of strategies for taking musical ideas and organization to a higher level of creative acuteness. And that's what we want to look at. 